Hey guys, today we are discussing the use of plants in hamster enclosures. This has become a highly requested and very popular topic as of late because there has been a significant increase <clears throat> in the amount of phlegm in my lungs. A significant increase in the number of people wanting to set up natural enclosures for their hamsters and of course part of a natural enclosure includes live plants. Unfortunately there isn't a huge amount of information out there on using plants in hamster enclosures so we are quite limited in what we know at the minute. I'm certainly quite limited in what I know on this topic but I will talk about the plants that I do know are safe for use in hamster enclosures and I'm going to go into more detail on one plant in particular. The type of live plants you most commonly see in hamster enclosures can be separated into two different groups. Group number one is herbs and group number two is grasses. Safe herbs include plants like parsley, dill, oregano, mint, coriander or cilantro in America and one of my personal favourites, thyme. I do believe there may be a few more herbs that are hamster safe, but those are the only ones that I know for certain. Not only are these herbs safe and also healthy for your hamster to nibble on occasionally, but they can also add a nice subtle aroma to the enclosure. The two main downsides to having herbs in your enclosure are one, they do need watering quite frequently and may not be great for somebody who isn't as experienced with keeping plants alive. And two, if you have too many herbs in your enclosure or they grow too big, the smell can actually become overpowering for your hamster so you do have to make sure if you're using herbs they are small plants and you don't use too many of them. You may find that your individual hamster really does not like the smell of a particular herb and putting it in their enclosure may prevent them from going to that area or may make them feel a little stressed out so it's really really important with herbs and in fact with any plant that you test them out with your hamster before adding them to their enclosure so giving them a little time with them outside in their playpen or whenever you take them out to play let them interact with the plant, see what they think of it. If they don't seem to like it, of course, don't put it in. And also, if they show too much interest in it, like if they tried devouring the whole thing in one sitting, it's also not a good idea to put that in your enclosure because while it's okay for your hamster to have a nibble on them here and there, you don't want them overeating on any plants. The other popular plant group for hamsters is grasses. Now it does seem that the majority of grasses are safe for hamsters, but there are two in particular that are very popular with owners. The first is cat grass, which is very easy to get your hands on. You can usually buy it in pet shops or in gardening centers centers often sold in seed form which you then have to grow yourself at home. I would recommend sprouting the seeds outside of the enclosure so your hamster doesn't just eat them all and then placing them in the enclosure once the seeds have actually sprouted once the grass has started to grow. Cat grass is normally very affordable it grows very quickly it doesn't require a huge amount of care so it's quite easy to look after and once again it's perfectly safe and healthy for your hamster to be nibbling on. The other commonly used grass and the one I really want to focus this video on because it's my personal personal favourite for using with hamsters is the good old fashioned spider plant. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I have a, a complicated relationship with spider plants. These have been one of my favourite plants since I was a teeny tiny little girl and I love that I can have these in my hamster enclosures as well. And when you look into natural hamster enclosures, you will see a lot of them contain spider plants and probably for good reason. There are so many pros and so few cons to keeping these in your enclosure. Uh, first of all, they do not need watering that frequently. They do like to dry out. They do like to be neglected just a little bit. So if you're not great at keeping plants alive, these will likely be a very good plant for you. Also, because you're not watering them that frequently, it means there's not a lot of wet soil in your cage that often, which is of course a good thing. Just like the other plants I've mentioned, spider plants are perfectly safe to be nibbled on in moderation, though once again, if your hamster shows a little too much interest, you want to remove the plant altogether. Spider plants are also well known for their air purifying properties. They are among the top 10 best air purifying plants recommended by NASA. They have been proven to remove as much as 90% of the formaldehyde in the air of any area that they grow in, which is pretty cool. But also they are a great dehumidifier and hamsters do not like to have a particularly humid environment. They like the humidity to be sat somewhere between 40 to 60 percent. So having plants that actually reduce the humidity instead of increasing it is really good. Now there is one pretty big downside to spider plants. Although the leaves are perfectly safe to be nibbled on, the seeds of a spider plant are toxic to hamsters and can make them very unwell. No need to panic though because it's actually very, very easy to prevent your spider plant from producing any seeds. Now over here I have a great big mama spider plant and you might be able to see 
this lovely chap has a few aerial runners coming off it. That's these uh, kind of long, thick arms over here. And some of them already have baby spider plants. But one of these runners, if I can find it, oh, it's this one over here. One of these runners is producing its own little white flowers. They're very teeny tiny. I will do a close up so you can actually see them. They're very teeny tiny little flowers. And when these flowers have done blooming, they will leave behind, most of the time, little seed pods. And those are the seed pods you want to prevent your hamster from getting to. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. First of all, you can just remove the flowers. If you notice your, your spider plant has produced the runners and has started flowering, you can just nip the flowers and nip the seed pods off. I simply don't let these runners grow to begin with. You will notice runners growing out from the middle of your plant pretty early on before they've started flowering or producing baby spiders. And so you'll have a lot of time and a lot of warning to be able to just snip those off before anything comes of them. So that's the only thing to really take note of with spider plants. You do either want to prevent them from producing runners altogether, or if they do produce runners, you wanna make sure you're keeping those flowers and those seed pods away from your hamster. Regardless of which plants you choose to use, I highly recommend that you plant them into pots and not directly into the substrate of the enclosure, mainly because hamsters are burrowing animals and they will absolutely destroy the plant's root systems if they get the chance to. Keeping your plants in pots also means that when you water them, the water isn't going to spread throughout the enclosure, it's going to remain contained inside the pot, which is really important for your hamster because it's not good for a hamster to be getting their fur wet or covered in very moist soil. Slightly damp soil isn't gonna hurt them, but you definitely want to keep your hamster away from really wet soil on that day of watering. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering about the lighting situation because plants, of course, do need a fair amount of light as long as your enclosure is in a well-lit room and is not getting direct sunlight, then both your hamster and your plants should be okay. And the final tip is not to go absolutely crazy with the plants. You don't need to completely fill their enclosure with them. Just a few here and there will be enough. They will provide your hamster with extra enrichment and they'll make the enclosure look beautiful. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If there's any questions about plants that I wasn't able to answer in this video, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them or to provide you with sources where you can go and find the answers to them. In the meantime though, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you.